guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do this tutorial on Cleopatra for Halloween and this is actually what I'm going to be for Halloween. So I bought all of these accessories from the Spirit of Halloween including the wig and also the headpiece. This was really fun to create this look and I hope you guys enjoy it. So please stay tuned if you want to know how to get this Cleopatra makeup So look. I primed my skin and first I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever foundation and I really love this foundation. I've been using it for the past week and it's really nice on the skin and it's very light. Next, I'm going to go in with my Clinique Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. I'm just going to brighten up that under eye area so I look more awake, and then I'm just going to buff it out. Next, I'm going to set that concealer with my Banana Powder by Anastasia, and I'm just going to lightly put this under my eyes and also on other areas of my face, like my chin, my forehead, and underneath where I'm going to contour. Next, I'm going to take this bronze shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm just going to warm up my skin with this shade. Cleopatra has really warm, bronzy skin, so I wanted to make it look like I've been hanging out by the pyramids all day and look super bronzy. Next, I'm going to take this more grayish tone and I'm going to contour my cheekbones. Make sure you blend this out evenly and nicely. Next, I'm going to go in with my Milani blush, and this is in Rose de Oreo. This is a really pretty blush. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia So Hollywood highlighter, and I can't get enough of this highlighter. I've been using this every day as well, and it's so pretty and pops so much on the cheekbones. I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones and also the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. Next, I'm going to take this vanilla shade from the Anastasia Contour Kit and apply this underneath my contour to sharpen it up and blend everything out nice and evenly. Next, I'm going to be doing my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow, and this is in the shade Medium Brown. I think this is a very nice shade for me because I tend to wear a lot of different wigs and do a lot of different things with my hair, but this always seems to match my brows perfectly, and it keeps my brows in place all day long. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with this Sephora eyeliner and I'm just going to map out where I'm going to place the eyeshadow. I really wanted to give this a very cat-like look, so I'm just drawing basically a wing on my eyelid and I'm directing it towards the end of my eyebrow. So just wing that out on either side. And you don't have to be perfect with this because we are going to go in with eyeshadow and we're going to blend a lot of things out. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe 35B palette, and I'm taking the light blue shade and I'm placing this right over where I put that eyeliner. I'm just going to buff this in really nicely. Next, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia cream color and I'm going to place this on the lid and I'm kind of going to create the same shape that I did with the eyeliner. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. This is going to be a great bright base for the next eyeshadow I'm going to apply, which is a gold. So go ahead and create that same shape using a small brush and a eyeliner of really any shade you would like to do, but I thought gold would look really pretty with this look. 
So next I'm going to go in with a gold shade from the Lorac Unzipped palette and I'm just going to apply that right where I put the yellow cream color and I'm just going to spread this nice and evenly over that color so it sets it nicely and brightens it up. Since that color did get onto the blue, I'm going to go back in with that blue shade and blend this out. Make sure everything is nice and even. got a little bit of blue fallout so I'm going to go back in with that gold shade once again. Then I'm going to take another gold shade and highlight the brow bone. Next I'm going to be doing the wing of the eyes and I'm taking a black coal liner and then kind of mapping out where I want that wing to be and filling it in with a liquid liner. Now you don't have to be super precise with this cat eye because Cleopatra, she doesn't really have a traditional cat eye. It's very square almost. So go ahead and do it whatever which way you'd like. But I'm going to keep mine on the more not super sharp. Next, I'm going to be applying some false lashes, and these are Christina Wispy Lashes, and I bought these on Amazon.com. Next, I'm going to be applying my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to these lashes to blend them into my real ones. I wanted to do a really nude look with this dramatic eye look, so I'm using my Urban Decay lip liner in Liar. And then I'm going to go over that with a NYX gloss. I will list the names of the gloss in the description box, but I think it's really pretty and it goes really well with the look. I'm just applying some highlighter all over my lips to give this more of a bronzy highlighted effect. And because I would imagine Cleopatra was super bronzy. And now I'm just changing out my headpiece. I also purchased this headpiece at Spirit of Halloween. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon. Alright guys, that is it for this Cleopatra makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon.